very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today actually i was planning to make a live trading video but instead of that i thought it's more important to actually make a video and take my time in it explaining to you everything about my strategy that i'm using to my daily trades now of course the very first thing we need to understand here that i'm actually a scalper everything about my strategy is about scalping now what does the scalper means scalper means that i'm actually aiming just a few pips only from a certain levels that i'm going to explain to you later in this video what we are actually aiming my friends is to find the levels where we can see that the price or the market is about to reverse and just make a reaction on that or after hitting that level this reaction what which we call actually the shock of the candle is what I am actually making my living from this is what we are going to explain in this video and we will talk about how to find these levels where the market actually gonna be falling like that for example and then immediately rises this sh shock here or reaction of the candle is exactly where we are actually aiming to make our profits and of course i'm going to explain to you later how we can find this exact level where the market is going to reverse and how to know also where to set our take profit level just to be sure that we are going to exit this deal with profit regardless if the, if the market is going to either continue falling later or rises up again i'm gonna get out with the with the secured profit and i'm going to explain all of that to you in this video now of course it's very important the, the very important thing before everything else is to select your broker you have to be very smart about selecting your, your broker and for that reason i'm dealing with ic markets I have explained this to everyone here before uh, of course I'm, I'm making this video for the new joiners and subscribers to our channel first of all I would like to welcome them and wish them the best uh, of uh, luck and always the success in their trading journey now of course I'm using IC markets since more than five years by now since uh, 2016 and in my opinion they are the best forex broker in the world for for a scalper the reason is if we look here at this list right here check out the spread that they are offering it's almost zero it's actually below below one pip if we look here carefully we can see that the pound aud has only 0 0.1 spread only on their trades euro usd has a flat 0, 0.0 no spread at all on the euro usd usd cad 0 0.3 now as a scalper this is very important because every single pip counts now of course they're going to take a commission which is really totally fine because we are paying for the, com the commission for the great service for the fast execution of course as a scalper you have to look for a, a broker which provide for you a very fast ordered execution if the order if the order is going to be delayed then that's going to be a problem even if i find another broker with lower spread than that then I don't need it if they are providing lower or slower servers. I think IC markets have it all. And if you if you check the reviews, they are number one for the brokers in the world. Now, of course, if you want to open an account uh, in the same broker that I'm using, you can check the description below this video. There is a link you can click on it, my friends, to support the channel. And of course, to also open an account in the same broker that I'm using in this video to have and enjoy the best forex, forex uh, sculpting experience of your life. And for that, you can take my word. Uh, it's gonna be indeed the best forex experience for you and i know a lot of people on my channel who have actually joined ic markets and right now they are really not willing at all to leave it because um, they are just very happy with the experience in this broker now why is it so important for you as a scalper to count each and every single pip it's simple as that because as a scalper you're just aiming few pips only from each and every single trade for example by the way that is all depends on the pair you are selecting to enter the deal for example if we are trading for uh, enter a deal on the euro usd we can actually aim between 10 to 15 pips only from our trade only 15 10 15 pips is enough if we are entering for example the pound nzd it's a different story we can actually aim between 20 or actually let me just be uh, more specific 15 to 25 pips of profit because the pair is actually gonna move faster and it is provide higher volatility now of course if you are scalping the gold uh, i always confuse about uh, typing the gold uh, command uh, or the the pair name uh, for the gold actually we can aim more than that we can aim between uh, anything between 20 to 40 pips as a scalper yes 
uh, for sculpting gold, this is actually fair enough because the pair actually moves very fast. One candle can actually move more than 200 pips. So sculpting between 20 to 40 pips is actually very good. So it all depends on which pair you are using. Always remember, if you want to make more profits, in my opinion, and personally what I'm doing, I'm focusing always on sculpting the gold and sculpting the pound NZD and sculpting the pound GPY and sculpting also Euro NZD. These are my very fair. Uh, I, I, I always prefer these four pairs. They are my favorite. And every time I'm opening my MetaTrader, I'm always looking at these four pairs first thing. If I cannot find anything good, then I'm going to just look for the other pairs. Always these fair four pairs are my top prior priority to find the best setup. Now, before we move to the strategy, of course, we also have to talk about the risk to reward ratio. Now, now guys, by the way, this is a hundred thousand dollars account because it's called, of course, it's a demo. It's not a live account at all. I'm not crazy to make a demonstration on my live account, of course. So I had to move on demo account to explain to you exactly how we can, we can apply this strategy. But, uh, let's say for example, if, if I'm having hundred thousand dollars account, all right, now, it's very important to talk about the risk to reward ratio and what is my plan to be actually um, my, my plan actually uh, uh, as a as a funding or managing my funds. Now, let me just explain to you when you are opening a trade each and every single trade you're opening is actually an investment. Each and every trade is investment. So when you are seeing a trade, for example, you are on the EURUSD and you are seeing here a valid setup that I want to actually buy the market. Now you have to think how much I'm going to invest in this trade. A each and every single trade you're opening, my friend, is a separated investment. For example, I have here $100,000 account. How much do I plan to invest in this trade? Let's say about $100 meaning my stop loss should be exactly hundred dollars and my profit should be between hundred and one fifty dollars so your risk to, risk to reward ratio should be varying between one to one or one to two it's really up to you that is up to you uh, what i'm explaining here is actually my own thoughts and my own opinion about how do i managing my funds and my trades now for example as i said before uh, i'm going to invest hundred dollars in this tree in this deal but what if I failed? If I failed, I, I need now to talk about the daily pr uh, profit and daily losses. Let me just uh, talk about this first. When you are trading and you are having this hundred thousand dollars account, how much is your daily uh, limit for the loss? Daily, daily limit for the loss. Now the problem here with most of the traders, and I know that, all of actually all of them everyone having always a limit for the daily loss but i think almost no one have a daily limit for the profit how much is your daily profit this is actually guys very very important aspect to be a successful trader the problem here is actually let, I, I need to explain this again uh, let me just open the paint and let me just open, explain it right here better for example we're having here bob bob is a very happy trader and as we can see right here he's very happy he's having his money and he's going to open his meta trader and yay i'm gonna make some money today so he opened meta trader and he have for example let's say 500 dollars uh, in his account now what he's gonna do he's gonna open a trade and for example it's gonna be a successful deal and he's gonna make uh, let's say 20 dollars of profit right now bob have 520 dollars of profit now bob is very happy what he's gonna do he's gonna open another trade he's lucky again and the next trade has actually made profit so now the account is 550 dollars what's he gonna do he's gonna continue trading and the account now is gonna be 650 dollars and the thing is here that bob is very happy and very excited and he's gonna keep trading over and over and over and over till eventually he loses it all in one single trade because actually he has a very much self-confidence that i can actually continue making money over and over and over and over and over and over now the only thing gonna stop bob from trading is losing all his profits losing all the money that he have made is gonna be the only way to stop bob from trading and making him go to the bed because actually there is nothing gonna stop him the mistake that bob have done here 
he didn't set for himself as a limit for the profits so for, if you have 500 dollars account for example your daily maximum loss should be for example let's say 50 dollars and your daily profit as the beginning should be 50 dollars as well once you make the 50 dollars profit just stop trading stop trading don't continue don't push yourself don't push your luck more than that just always be sure that you're having a, like a form like today uh monday i have made 50 dollars profit um tuesday uh maybe i will lose 20 dollars then uh, wednesday i'm gonna um today actually i'm gonna make another 50 dollars profit on thursday um I will make profit of 30 Friday I will lose ten dollars eventually you will end, you will end up in a profit every single day actually can give you either a profit or loss what matters my friends is the results at the end of the week the result of the week for example here I don't know um, 30 80 uh, 110 uh, it should be 120 dollars of profit so eventually the results of the end of the week it what matters if today was a loss then just accept it suck it yes yeah, seriously suck it just go to the next day, move to the next day move on to the next day next day you can recover all the losses and you can make profits then once you reach your limit of the profits move uh, stop trading and just wait for the next day now i know this is very hard emotionally to control yourself but if you want to be a successful trader you always have to set limits like this never ever continue trading the whole day never ever um do the over trading over trading is gonna actually eventually kill you because the only way to stop you from trading is gonna be losing your account now after explaining this now the other most important part about uh, uh, being a successful trader is always make sure that your, your initial deposit is always safe away from being uh, uh, in risk what does it mean it means for example if you have 500 dollars account and you have to make sure that the very first trade you're going to open at all is going to be somehow trusted and just wait for the perfect setup that you think is going to provide you the uh, profit and after that let's say for example you made um 30 dollars profit from this trade now what you are going to do next uh, on the next trade you have you're going to have 530 dollars try to invest only the profit that you have made on the next deal so for example you on the next trade you're gonna open the stop loss is gonna be exactly 30 dollars and of course vice versa uh, the take profit level should be also 30. now in this case if you have lost the next trade at least your initial deposit is still safe and far from being uh, lost and if you have made a profit your initial your total account is gonna be 560 dollars right now now what you can do next on the next trade you might think I'm going to tell you risk the whole profit. No, this is wrong. What you have to do is risk a percentage of this, a percentage, sorry, of this profit. For example, let's say I'm going to risk 50% of the profit I have made. So on the next deal, I'm going to also risk $30 on the next trade. The whole idea is that right now on the third trade, your initial deposit, which is $500, plus some of the profit that you have made right here earlier, 30 is still safe and uh, far from being risked now on the next trade you're gonna risk uh, $30 meaning the stop loss should be $30 now you are you're just risking half of the profit that you have uh, made in total so let's say of course if you lost it which has happened usually you're gonna end up with a count of $530 which is still fine because your initial deposit is still there plus some profit but if you have made a profit now your account uh, this is so messy right now your <laughs> account is gonna be 590 dollars again keep risking only uh, part of the profit that you have made always percentage of the profit that you have made so you can risk for example 50 dollars right now on the next trade as that means that the stop loss has to be 50 dollars and so on and so on and so on now with the help of my strategy that i'm going to teach you right here um, you're gonna have in my opinion no less than 85 winning ratio strategy with this means that the stop loss might be hidden sometimes but actually the take profit level is gonna be hidden much more often now um, 
I think after explaining everything about the fund uh, uh, fund management and um, sorry, f yeah, fund management and risk risk management. Now it's time to go to explain the strategy itself. So me as a trader, what do I do every day? Now, first of all, I just open the charts. Oh, by the way, this is very important. I need to explain to you this. Uh, I I see the comments. Um, there are some uh, questions about how can I actually open the, the, the chart directly because they are telling me, Salah, we have to click right here, right click right here and click on chart window and then go to the time to the, to the, to the template and apply our new template on the, on the chart. It's annoying. It's killing us. What, how do you do that? How can you, okay. What I'm doing actually guys is simply drag and drop. Look at the pound NZD. Look at the mouse cursor. Now I just, um, keep uh, just drag it you know how to drag i think and as you can see there is a square has a or rectangle has appeared right here at the bottom of the mouse cursor just simply drag it and drop it right here boom that's it just because i'm actually used to do that very fast you might, sometimes you might miss seeing it um but i'm just doing it very quickly that's all just like that all right perfect so now what we need to, to find here now let me go to the depth of, of the strategy itself what is the strategy that i'm using every day in my daily trades now first of all we need to understand that my uh, to use my strategy i need to switch between two time frames uh, the first one is going to be the four hour time frame and the other one is going to be a 15 minute time frame now what is the reason for that so let's just make it very simple on the four hour time frame, uh, I'm going to identify where is my look, my current location on the market. If I am on a resistance level or if I am on a support level, the only purpose of the four hour time frame is to just to find out if I am on a resistance or support. That's it. Now, now we need to switch to the 15 minute time frame on the 15 minute time frame. All the magic is happening there because on the 15 minute time frame, we will identify exactly where we are going to place our buy order and sell order now if you want to place your buy order for example randomly on the resistance level um first of all you're gonna lose as simple as that second of all you're gonna lose again <laughs> very simple as that because um actually this is what pisses me off uh, most of the forex traders or sorry the forex teachers what they are teaching the traders is always my friend you have to buy the low and sell the high that's it I mean, they are just making it so simple, but they are not being precise about, about where to place your buy order or sell order. Now, I know there is a lot of good teachers out there, but I'm just talking in general. Now, the thing you need to find here on the 15 minute time frame is where exactly I can place my buy order. And is this support level valid to be bought in the, in the first place or not? All of that is going to be answered on the four hour and 15 minute time frame. So right now I'm on the 15 minute time frame. Let me just move to this chart right here or this structure and show you here something. Now, personally, I would now avoid entering any setup right here. What? But it's on a resistance level. Why won't you sell? Now, okay, let me tell you something. As a scalper, I'm just aiming always the best and most safe entries as much as possible. For me, if I draw here a resistance line like that, um, <clears throat> for the pound and ZD, we can see that the pair has already fallen as we can see the pair has already reversed from where i wanted it to be uh, reversing so therefore uh the pair has fallen for oh, look at that about uh 43 pips already so therefore that means that this setup is no longer valid now the next valid setup here in my opinion is gonna be if this pair right here fa falls all the way right here to hit that previous resistance anyway i'm rushing to talk about this let me just uh, explain to you first what is my strategy before explaining to you the setups all right so let me now just talk about the strategy itself and let me explain to you how we can actually find the setups now first of all my strategy is depending on two time frames the first one is the four hour time frame and the second one is the 15 minute time frame now what's the the use of the four hour time frame and what is the use of the 15 minute time frame now of course everyone knows that we always have to buy low and sell high in forex world it's the golden rule that you should always buy the low level and sell the high level or actually in other words um buy the support and sell at the resistance so now 
you're gonna use the four hour time frame to know exactly where is your level right now if you are on a, on a resistance level or if you are on a support level that is the only use of the four hour time frame later on the uh, later on, all of the magic can happen on the 15 minute time frame because if on the four hour time frame for example if i was on the peak of the resistance i'm gonna need to switch to now to the 15 minute time frame and on the 15 minute time frame i'm gonna identify and analyze the market to know where exactly i'm going to sell since I'm on the resistance, of course, I need to look for sell opportunities and the 15 minute time frame is the way to find a very specific and uh, perfect level to start uh, selling. As I said before, as a scalper, every single pip counts. So you don't want to you don't really want to find a trade where the trade might go actually in minus three or minus five or minus 10 pips of loss. We want to avoid that. We want to have the perfect um, entry so we can actually immediately enter at the exact level of the uh, or the perfect level for the reversal and hopefully the market can reverse and give me straight away uh, 10 or 15 pips of profit hopefully without any drawdowns so let me just explain to you right now uh, how we can find the setups on the four hour time frame first then how we can switch to the 15 minute time frame let me first try to find a setup on the four hour time frame so let's start of course with the pound nzd now for example, if I want to find a setup right now, the pound and ZD in a good position to start buying. Let me explain the reason. Let me zoom in on the four hour time frame, as we can see right here. Uh, we are having, let me just change it to make it like this better. So as we can see on the four hour time frame, we are having here a resistance level and we are having right here also a previous support level. Now remember, since I'm on the four hour time frame, each and every candle counts. So even this, these two weeks right here, they are representing a resistance because if we look at the left, we can see that the, the, the same level also was a resistance as well. Meaning right now that resistance has been broken out from and now the market is revisiting the same level of the resistance. Now, this is very important to say something here. As we can see, the market actually has just reversed from the peak of another uh, two attempts of a resistance. That means that most likely the market is going to continue the fall. Then why do I ask you to buy here? Actually, we are just seeking the reaction of the candle. The market eventually or the candle eventually going to continue falling. That's for sure in my opinion. But actually the candle is not going to continue the fall right away most likely the candle is going to just make a, a shock or reaction reaction to the level uh, after touching that previous resistance level to create a first attempt of a support and after that the candle is going to continue the fall as i said before my profit is going to be made out of that reaction of touching the level of the previous support now how do we see that we have to go to the 15 minute time frame so go to the 15 minute time frame and as we can see we had right here a previous support level and um, sorry, this is the previous resistance. And as we can see on the 15 minute time frame, we had right here the first attempt of a support. So the support has already been created. The first attempt of the support has already been created. Now, where do I need to enter? I need to enter exactly on the second attempt of the support. This is exactly where I want to place my trade. Now, it's very important before we proceed with the deal itself to since i told you that we have to be very specific about the levels where we should start buying the pair or selling the pair it depends of course on how you draw your resistance and support line because if you want to have the really perfect entry you have to be very careful and wise about how you draw your support line so for example Right now, we can see that I have drawn my support level right here. But if I want to be very specific, is it really right here? Is this where the resistance or, or the support line should be drawn here? Maybe the pair will re reverse now. Maybe not. So where exactly to know where the pair is going to reverse? It's very important, my friend. This is actually the most important part of the strategy. Now, let me tell you something and be, be very specific. There are arguments about where we should draw or uh, we should put our support line look at that the candle is falling perfect i'm gonna ex explain this now actually i had a, i had this argument with one of my fellow fellow traders um he said he uh, he said that we should always draw the support line exactly on the closure of the candles 
and of course I disagreed with him. I told him, no, we should draw it somewhere else. I will explain it to you right now. So, as I said before, this is the support. So if you want to draw your support line, the really perfect way to draw your support line and focus, my friends, is always that the line should be touching the peak of both of these wicks, just like that. If, for example, um, for example, I want to find good example. If, for example, we are drawing our support line here, exactly right here. In this case, the support should be drawn not, not at the bottom of the wick right here, not exactly right here, no. We have to draw it in a way that this support line touches the peak uh, of each and every single tail. So it has to be like that. Look at that. Now the candle has touched the level. I'm going to place the buy order. Perfect. Check that out. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We always have to focus to find the really perfect entry. If I happen to enter earlier, I would have actually been lost right now and the candle might go against me. But since I have placed my trade right here exactly on the same level, which I have mentioned now, you can see that the entry was not so perfect, of course, because uh, the pound density has 1.4 or 1.5 um, uh, spread. And of course, this is what exactly happened. Yes, almost uh, to spread. Now, of course, I have to, many, to, to, to mention something, my friends. This strategy can never 100% work. Not every single time. So this trade might fail, of course, which is really normal. I'm not telling you that it's going to be 100% profitable strategy. Uh, there are some moments that the strategy might fail. And if this says uh, this trade has failed, of course, I'm going to have to explain to you in different setup because I will never leave this video with a failed setup. I have to explain my strategy in a brief and I'm sure of my strategy and I trust it. Therefore, I hope it's going to really reverse indeed on the same level I have mentioned. So let me just go back to the previous example here. Now, as I told you, uh, the perfect way to draw our support line is not going to be here at the level, uh, lowest, the, uh, the lowest level of the candle or the tail. It has to be in a way that the, candle, uh, the line, look at the line, is touching both of the three tails. Perfect, like that. So as you can see, uh, or you can, you know something, let me just make it more simple. M draw your support line in a way that the, that, that the horizontal line here is touching the shortest wick of the pattern. So this is the pattern right here. And the resistance, uh, the support line here should be touching the shortest one among them. And voila, like that, perfectly fine. So therefore, this is exactly where are going to be the level where, where we can start again buying the pair if the candle ever gonna fall to this level of course it depends of this, if this is was a support number one or not but i'm just telling you exactly where we can draw the support line uh i need to find another good example um not here i don't think here is there is anything valid however i just want to prove uh, that my theory is correct and look at that now this candle still has about uh, 40 seconds of its expiration time and i want to show you that most likely this candle gonna close exactly on the line that i have drawn here i have to prove it so therefore let me just please pause the recording and i'll be back to you in just uh, 20 seconds to show you how this candle gonna close so as you can see, so far the candle is reversing. Of course, I'm not promising that it will be, it will be gonna it will gonna be in profit. However, I just need to explain to you guys if, in case the candle has indeed reversed here, where is exactly we should have uh, exit our trade. Now, this is my uh, one of the aspects of the strategy is to find exactly where the level where we can set our tech profit level. You just cannot actually set random levels for the tech profit level. You cannot just set, okay, I want my tech profit to be here because I want to make, um, for example, $338. Sadly, you have to follow the setup what it provide, provides you. So, for example, since I have placed my, tra my trade right here exactly on the blue, on the red line. Now we need to understand that I have placed my trade on a support level. Now, where to exit my trade or where is the take profit level? The take profit level have to be set, must be set, sorry, exactly on the nearest, nearest support or resistance to my entry. Let me just make it very clear because I think this part here is very confusing for so many of you. Now, since I have placed my trade right here on this support level, now let me sh just, just look right here, guys. Look at this structure right here. Look at this structure. Um, let me just uh, draw here this uh, shape. So if we want to see here that we had here a previous resistance level and right here also we are having a support level. This this is the nearest, by the way. 
So only these two we have. We have only this previous resistance and we have a support. Now, if this candle ever going to continue rising, which one of these two is going to be hidden first? Let me call this one number one and this here number two. If this candle is going to ever continue rising, which one of these two is going to be hidden first? Is it number one or number two? Of course, the answer is very simple. It's number one. Number one is going to be uh, revisited first before number two. That being said, number one should be my take profit level. And of course, to identify exactly where the take profit, take profit level should be, we're going to do exactly the same. Now, this support level right here consists of two tails, number one and number two. These are the two tails that are representing the support level. So the take profit level has to be placed exactly like that. Look at that in a way that this horizontal line touches the shortest one among them. So the take profit level should not be placed here because you are missing uh, this week right here or the tail right here. So you have to place your horizontal line exactly like that in a way that the line touches the shortest one of them. Meaning we can aim from this trade 15 pips of profit. And of course, for safety measures, we always have to be sitting exactly. So let me just take, set the take profit exactly like that. And of course, regarding the stop loss, it's really up to you how you are handling your funds. You can make it the same. You can make it exactly 15 pips as well. So we can have 50 to 50 winning ratio uh, in this deal, of course, I mean. And therefore, uh, this is one of the ways to select your take profit level. It has to be done based on the 15 minute time frame. Don't select the nearest support or resistance based on the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame is only dedicated to identify where we can actually enter our trade. But go to the 15 minute time frame to identify exactly where exactly we are going to enter the trade. So uh, I don't know if we should wait for this one or not, because it's not, it's not actually um, part of the training to have a winning trade since I'm on a demo account anyway. And I really don't give a damn if this trade is going to be profitable or not. Um, I think we have to just uh, ignore this setup and just move to the other one. Yeah, I don't. I just really don't care. I just don't have time to wait for this setup to be eventually in profit or not. I, um, there are so other p better setups than that. But however, I don't think this is the time to actually make any live trading sessions. Let me just delete this line also so it won't confuse us. Yes, like that. I think better right now if we talk about the perfect setups that you always should be aiming. Let me now move to the four hour time frame. And let me tell you, for example, I need to find a better chart so I can show you exactly where exactly we can find the really uh, good setups that we should always be waiting for. For example, for I think this one here is correct. Yes, this is for example, uh, on the pound CHF, it's really ideal that if you wait here to see at the peak of the resistance right here. Now, let me tell you something. I, I know what I said now doesn't make any sense. I have to be very precise and very specific and clear about uh, this part because it's really very important. Now, let me explain to you something here. When you see a resistance consists of just like that long wick on the can of the peak of on the top of the candles, the longer the wick, the strongest the level. Meaning if you see a support level consists of what just one candle like that with a long wick at its top and then the market has reversed. This is actually very, very good level for starting buying later because if the market actually gonna continue you know something uh this is not good here let me draw it here it's gonna be better i think yes better so uh what i was saying is we have to find here for example uh, a peak of the resistance where which which look like that ex exactly uh, just like a candle with a long wick at a stop and then the market has reversed now what you need to do is mark this line right here uh i need to mark a line here mark your your resistance line like that and just wait for the market actually to fall down to, to to break out from that previous resistance and then revisiting again the same peak level the same level of the peak of the resistance most likely this is where the market is going to indeed reverse this is where you can start again placing your buy order this is exactly where this the new support is going to be born most likely in most cases this is how it's going to happen um actually the euro nzd is a very good example the euro nzd was really a very good example check that out i have placed my trade exactly right here at the peak of that previous resistance 
uh, that was not really a scalping but however if we look at the left we can see that here actually I could have a better uh, trade uh, but I noticed that later look at that this is very important my friends this is what I'm teaching you here look at that so we are going to actually start buying the euro and ZD exactly at the same level of the peak of the resistance right here uh, assuming that this is going to be a new support and it was indeed but however how can I really have the perfect perfect entry instead of being in loss for about um, 28 or 27 pips of loss before the fi before the pair finally reversed and be in profit how can I be very uh, how can I have a very accurate entry and just make sure I'm gonna be in profit it all depends on the nearest support to that resistance look at that so we are having here this resistance level and if we look at the left of the same level we can see that we had right here previously a support now here's the magic check this resistance line here or i'm gonna drag it down here and look at, my, at the mouse cursor look at that look at that i'm going to draw my support line exactly as i'm telling you uh, on this notice that the line is also of course touching the same resistance level we talked about but however this support line is, is perfectly fitting uh, with the support uh, uh, pattern I as I have mentioned before so um, the horizontal line is touching both of the tails of the support pattern and what do you see next check that out this is not only a perfect entry, this is the entry that you always want to aim. This is perfect because the pair has reversed exactly with a zero flat or zero pips of loss on, on loss and immediately went all the way uh, in 130 pips of profit. So if you always, my friends, want to have really a perfect entry, always make sure that that previous resistance level, which is becoming a new support level, was also previously a new support. So let me give another example if you want to have another perfect entry uh, you can consider it as a signal i don't care uh, i think it's going to be worth it let me just try to find something um, where actually we can have really a very good entry in the future and it's going to provide us a good setup so i'm just trying to find something here and there um, i just want really a very clear chart where i can see that the market is going to give us a promising setup so i can show it to you um okay i think it already happened or maybe it, it is gonna happen let me show you here for example um on the aud and zd on the four hour time frame we can see that right here we had the previous resistance that resistance right now has become a new support but however is this the perfect entry mm, not yet we don't know yet we have to analyze more to identify if this is going to be the perfect entry or not yet so the candle right now is red and as we can see it's falling down it actually might fall down a little bit more so how can i really have the perfect entry simply scroll to the left scroll more to the left until you find the support look at that this is the support level this is the support level which has become which has later on became a resistance what you need to do is drag the line in a way that the line touches all of the tails exactly like that perfect look at that now my my support line is touching this tail and this tail as well now go back to the current time and here exactly where you can place the buy order and hopefully it's gonna be really a very good deal and profit the reason for that that the support level in the past is gonna always be respected not always i'm gonna say always but however uh 90 percent of the time of the time if not even 95 percent of the time actually yeah i will go to the 95 percent 95 percent of the time is going to be respected and if you want to make sure only check the history so this is exactly what i have drawn my support line check the history where the market has reacted to this level as a support it has a it had really a perfect perfect entry right here and also right here as we can see another perfect entry uh, let's dig more let's go to the left look at that guys focus on the supports here perfect entry here perfect entry keep going um, look at the supports only not the resistance I'm looking for a uh, support level where this line was also previously a support I think we messed up somehow the chart here uh, is out of control anyway no problem the idea is uh, there I think now we can uh, calmly 
place the thread order right here we just have to wait for the pair to fall for another um, 12 pips before we can start buying it so of course if we ever buy the um, the AUD and ZD right here we need to switch to the 15 minute time frame to identify our take profit level so if I have placed my the problem here is we cannot see the candles but if I place my trade right here for example here exactly as I told you now where is gonna be my take profit level if the candle is if the market is actually going to continue the fall um, our take profit level has to be at the nearest support or resistance to my entry now of course as as we can see right here if this candle going to continue fall like that the nearest support to my entry is going to be exactly right here here we have a small support i don't know if you can see it guys the candle is way zoomed out and we can see here that we had a resistance so this is exactly gonna be the take profit level so we can be aiming about 12 or 13 pips profit from this trade let me just zoom in so you can see it this is the level i talked about this is the nearest support to my entry if i if i place the trade right here as i told you and after that this is gonna be the take profit level because this is the nearest support to my entry and so on and so on so in general this is all my this is pretty much my strategy guys it's always about um finding the breakouts and after that wait for the market to revisit the same level again of the previous resistance but always check on the left to see if that previous uh, level of the resistance was indeed a support draw your line like that and just get ready to enter your trade and hopefully it's going to be in a good profit this is working on the four hour and the 15 minute time frame by the way so here i was precise on the four hour time frame but however if i find that my i am on a support level on the four hour time frame i can switch to the 15 minute time frame right now and try to find another good setup um where i can see that the market was previously a support as well um on the same level of the resistance so i can uh, draw my line based on the 15 minute time frame i don't have to draw it on the four hour time frame i can draw my line based on the 15 minute time frame now of course uh, I have explained here in brief the strategy and hopefully on the next video I'm going to make more live trading videos and I will explain also more about the reason behind each and every single trade I do in these live trading videos. So I really think I don't think I can make it more simple than that. I cannot make it clearer than that. Um, I think it was really so clear and I have made it very obvious how we can actually um, enter trades uh, or find setups with this uh, strategy i encourage you guys to try it in ic markets of course uh, i don't think you can have the same results of mine on, on with, with any other broker and of course i i'm really encouraging encouraging you to try this strategy yourself and if you're finding yourself failing just wait for my new live trading video so hopefully watching these live trading videos is gonna give you more experience about how to apply the strategy so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching